Hello, I'm Carly McAvoy. I wanted to talk to you about the coefficient of variation. When we want to consider the variation of two different data sets with different means and standard deviations, we can use the coefficient of variation, or CV. The CV uh, formula is just the standard deviation of the sample divided by the mean and then times 100. When you multiply by 100, that's going to give you a value that's a percentage. So for example, if we look at the mean and standard deviation for the house prices for two cities in 2017, we see that City A has a mean house price of $248,500 and a standard deviation of $11,000. And City B has a mean of 428,000 in a standard deviation of 18,000. At first look, we might just say city B has greater variation in the data set because the standard deviation is greater. And in general, we do look at the greater variation having to do with a greater standard deviation, but that's if we have the same mean and we're using the same units and we have basically the same type of sample set. So when we have two different means like this, we can't just look at the number associated with the standard deviation and make that call. We have to look a little closer and look at that CV. So if, you, if we were just using that simple formula that I mentioned above, <clears throat> and so for city A, we have the standard deviation of 11,000 divided by the average house price, which was 248,500. And if we divide that and then multiply by 100, we get approximately, rounded to the 100's place, 4.43%. The 100's place, I should say, if I didn't say that correctly. City B, if you take the standard deviation of 18,000 and divide by this 428,000 and multiply by 100, again, that gives us a percent, rounded to the 100's place, of 4.21%. <clears throat> and so when we look at those, we can see that those standard deviations are actually very similar or very close together, but the standard deviation for city A is a little greater because 4.43% is a little greater than 4.21, so city A actually has more variation in the data. You may be asked to, um, given a data set or two data sets, and asked to compare the coefficient of, of variation. In order to do that, you have to find the mean and the standard deviation first. All right, thanks, and have a great day.